Hello guys, good afternoon. We have the 25th of October and I want to try this bike. Look what I have. I have the BMW R1300 GS with the Acer clutch, not clutch, no clutch, this is not a clutch, but automatic transmission with a actuator and I wanted to try it. I took it just over there and I will, I just drove like for a few meters and I will test uh, test it now and will tell you just my opinion. I was not gonna talk about all this What how many horsepowers etc. You know all this stuff, but I just wanted to give you a feel I came here with my motorcycle and with the 1200 GS from 2015 liquid cooled and I, mean, I want to see the difference and especially compare it to the DCT because I know DCT and I want to try it So let's take the first steps write it a little bit. I will show you everything and then we We'll stop somewhere nice and take some pictures and take some video like what I think about it because it's very windy here. Okay, let's go. And it also has this lowering kit, like it, it lowers the bike if you stop. And it's very handy. What's this? Okay. And look at me. I don't know if you can see. I'm just with the shoes because I want to feel everything and I can flat foot it. Flat foot this bike is perfect. It feels it feels safe. I like it and if I go after 25 kilometers I think it's gonna go up let's fire this thing up so you have first to pull, pull the brakes and without the brakes it will not start if you push it let me try no <laughs> Okay, okay, let me get used to the bike. I'm not used to it yet. Let me close this. Yeah. And let's put up the windscreen. Oh, nice. But maybe for the test it's better not to put it too much. I will test it later on the high speed. And let's go here and see how it works with the wind protection as I said I just came with my bike with the 1200 GS from 2015 and they will compare everything the sound the engine the everything but of course also this transmission I, I'm still using the clutch <laughs> my brain is using the clutch but it's without the clutch of course there is no clutch at all and I'm in the road mode let's see later how it goes in different modes Ooh, ooh. Uh, it feels different. The bike feels definitely different. Let's see how it drives. We will try dynamic mode, of course, also. Plus, nice, nice to stop like this without the clutch. And it feels different. It feels definitely different because um, when you drive it, it feels like a different bike. Let's see how it is later, but now it feels uh, like a different bike. I put up the screen a little bit to feel it more, but it's it's kind of cool. And if you shift from the one and second and third um, gear, you feel it like typical GS uh, gearbox. It's kind of heavy, you know. I think we go straight because it's not too much traffic there. No, let's go right and go to the fast mode without the clutch. Yeah, but I think higher gears it will be smoother. Huh? Sometimes it's smoother, but it's not. Nothing compares to uh, DCT. It's not DCT. It's not e clutch. It's compl completely different story. Oh, <laughs> I was going for the gear again, for the lever again. <laughs> now we go to the faster road, and then we will turn to the twisties. Let's see how it's in the twisties. Let's uh, also try the mode. I think the dynamic because I always drive in dynamic. Let's put dynamic and then see how it feels. But the seat height is so nice. This is this is awesome. This is even even better for me this bike because it's lower than mine. Let's go to the fast road. Oh, the gearbox is it's shifting. You feel it shifting. We're still trying to find the clutch. But going slow, it's nice without the clutch. Let's go. It sounds 
downshifts. It downshifts if you go, if you accelerate. Now look, we're in the fifth. But if I push, it's the fifth. downshifts automatically this is nice because DCT does the same it would be stupid if it would be not shifting down so you can go a little bit sporty I don't know if it's only in the in the mode for the dynamic road I don't know it's more sporty it's a sport bike more like a sport bike than a GS the classic GS <laughs> this is nice this is nice but I'm not in love with it I have to be honest, I'm not in love with it. The shifts from the third or fourth gear are very smooth, but still if you punch it hard, then it shifts hard. If you don't punch it hard, it shifts kind of okay, but not perfect. As I said, not DCT at all. But the whole bike, the wind protection is better I think, and also it's hear the sound better of the engine which is kind of weird I don't hear the exhaust at all there are some bags in the back I will show you later maybe it's the reason but it doesn't make this <laughs> like my GS does I'm still reaching for the lever okay let's go here it's so weird to stop without the clutch <laughs> I think I uh, uh, now now no, it's gonna turn off now now I'm gonna fall <laughs> guys I don't think it's gonna be the ASA because it shifts not not good I have to be honest I like the BMW but the shifting is shitty it's very hard especially in dynamic it's like you know I had a shot yesterday here uh, for the vaccine and it feels feels not right it feels like really it hurts <laughs> it's super strong I will find a way now to stand somewhere a place and talk to you about all the stuff because it's not all good it's not all good and of course I want to show you the seat height etc etc you have to bring the bike back soon but we still have some some time let's use it so guys this is how it looks like the seat height I'm 1 meter 77 and it has this lowering kit Look at it! 177 centimeters flat footing it. It's very nice, it's very safe, it feels really great because it gives you more confidence. You can listen to the engine, I also will show you the exhaust. And you can listen it from the GoPro. They will also walk around of course and tell you everything but this is how it looks, 1 meter 77. Okay guys, now I had, I drove it already for one hour I think and now quick resume I'm not gonna talk about all the specs you know all the specs 145 horsepower what's even better is 149 uh, newton meters etc etc I'm just gonna talk about the good stuff and the bad stuff there is some bad stuff I don't like but mostly it's good I drove now for one hour a little bit more than one hour and I enjoyed it a lot I thinking about buying this bike for the next year because 
in the winter we're going to Indonesia and Philippines I'm not gonna be here during the winter but in March and April we will be back with a new job and I'm thinking about buying a new bike and this is one is my favorite I think and it's still my favorite but I will try the other ones I will go to the Aikma in November in a few days weeks and we'll test like sit on all of them make a video maybe and then test drive them in the next year like the KTM and Ducati etc but till now short short update this bike is really awesome I love almost everything is better people complained about the engine sound I like the engine sound yes the exhaust is not as loud anymore as with the 1250 or 12, 1200 but still it's nice people complained about the engine noise I didn't get the engine noise too much it was fine the wind protection is awesome this option like to put it up and down it's also awesome I like it because on the Autobahn you can put it up then in the city you can put it down really nice but of course also one more thing to break the engine is linear I don't like it too much to be honest yeah because I like my old one 1200 JS or 1250 because they have this punch of course they have holes in the refs no but I like it it has more character this one doesn't have too much character it's like a Honda you can like it or you cannot like it I liked it um, when I first drove my bike that it's like feels alive the engine feels alive and um, I liked it this one is more linear this one is maybe better as an engine but it doesn't have this character anymore and this one annoys me a little bit because I miss this punch I think my 1200 feels somehow a little bit stronger <laughs> I know this bike is much stronger and has more horsepower and more newt meters but somehow my bike feels better uh, accelerating especially in dynamic mode the wind protection is nice everything is nice suspension of course one of the best the lowering and going up is awesome for me as a short rider 177 centimeters and the exhaust is not as loud okay this can be a plus or a minus because some people like it loud I don't like it on the big trips because I drive mostly for a longer time everything else is basically the same the seat the seat height is lower with this kit lowering kit and the seat is harder I think but anything else is is basically the same it's basically the same bike but of course no clutch and this is the main point this was the reason why I tested it because I tried DCT and I know what DCT is and this is not DCT <laughs> it's not at all DCT is much better much smoother but also 10 kilos heavy this one is uh, only 2 kilos and the e-clutch I didn't try yet I will try it but I'm not going to get this one with the ASA uh, option because it's not fun it shifts in the corners it shifts really hard it shifts really hectic it's like the quick shift on my bike it's really shitty to be honest especially from one to three from four to five six it's fine but not like in the lower gears it's, it's also like this I didn't like how it shifts in the road mode I didn't like how it shifts in the dynamic road uh, dynamic mode and no it's not mine anything else is basically the same but I'm not gonna get the first generation of this clutch less no it has a clutch without the lever this Acer thing I know a lot of people love it and like it maybe they didn't drive the DCT I don't know but <laughs> I have to be honest I like the bike I like BMW I like uh, this concept but I don't think it's time to get this one maybe wait one or two or three generations they always need a little bit longer with the BMW no hate I drive a BMW and I'm thinking not to get this one uh, if I get it next year after testing the other ones it will be definitely with a manual transition because you have the quick shifter and it's also nice you know it's it's also shifts pretty good and that's the plan that's it guys I think I didn't miss too much bags or anything it's basically the same there's nothing of course there's a radar but there are so many videos already I just wanted to tell you the difference because I came with the 1250, uh, 1200 and set on this one and it's almost better in every way except the shifting with the automatic uh, transmission I don't like it and the engine could pull a little bit different like have more character not as linear yeah that's it stay tuned guys we are going to Aikma in November and we'll buy a new bike next year I hope you enjoyed the video it was short I don't have too much time they don't give you too much time for this drove it for one hour and that's it and I have to give you the just my opinion I wanted to give you my opinion so 
probably it's gonna be this bike because the seat height is perfect for me the bike is perfect for me but not with the automatic clutch transmission I'm really glad that I tested it and now I know what I want I don't put it in here but well let's see what the future brings and also let's try the KTM and uh, the Ducati okay let's bring the bike back and I see you in the next one or I see you in there there's also the JS Adventure maybe I will show you so yeah Let's bring it back.